how do we make these custom buttons for our website? Now you can use anything. You could literally use any image you find on Google, any image, you could draw anything. Um, I'm using pixel art. So this is what, I'm, for my class, we're gonna do a little uh, creating custom buttons. I'm gonna show you how to create a button like this home. This is actually, the button will look like this, this size, which is 100 pixels by 30 pixels. Um, but it's we're zoomed in right now, so it looks a lot bigger than it is. I'm gonna go file, new. Okay, on pixel art, we're gonna set the width to 100 by 30. And we're just gonna say new drawing. Also, they have like these pre-made like little shapes down here. You could make squares, whatever, but for my assignment, we're gonna do like kind of a rectangle. We're gonna say yes, okay. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it with a color. We're gonna get the paint bucket tool here. Click on it, the bucket fill. We're gonna click on the color black. We're gonna change it to a color other than black. Okay. And then I'm gonna close that advertisement. Then over here, I'm gonna make a new layer. And you can see it says add layer. And if you don't see the layer, make sure you click on the, it's on the preview tab, it's fine. I'm gonna click the plus. I see it says layer one. I'm gonna to go to the text tool. I'm gonna to change this back by clicking on this little black and white button. I'm gonna change it back to black or white text. And depending on my color, if my color is a light color, I'll use black. If it's a dark color, I'll use white. I think this is kind of a lighter color. I'm going to click on the screen. I'm going to type video. OK, now that's really small. I'm going to hit undo, control Z. I'm going to make that much bigger. We'll see how big I can make it. I'm going to click on the screen. I'm going to type video. Oop. let's see if that's that is like just the right size. Let me get that move arrow. Notice it's on its own layer here. Oh, I didn't. I did it on the wrong layer. Boo. Got to click on the new layer first. I'm going to make my new layer. Click on it. I'm going to say text. I'm going to say video. Video. I want it on its own layer, and there's a reason why. So I can adjust it and move it where I want it. I'm going to try to center it. You're going to get the size as big as you can, the text size. Um, probably somewhere between 15 and 20. Um, depending on how long your word is. So once I've got my my uh, button design with my words, I'm going to go to File, Export, Download. I'm going to download a PNG. I'm not going to change the size. I want it to be 100 by 30. Um, I'm going to wait for that download. It should pop open, and I'm going to save it. I'm going to name it like this. I'm going to call it Button underscore Home. That is so that when I have a whole bunch of buttons for my website, let's say my button, my website has like 20, 30 pages, I can keep track and just find it. I go to buttons and then I look for the name. So I'm gonna call this button home too because I've already made a button before. You can name it whatever you want, but I suggest starting with button and then maybe a dash or an underscore and the name of the page. Okay, so I've made a home button. And then to put it in to Google, to your Google page or whatever, Let's go to, I'm gonna go back to my home page here. Let's just say I put that home button right here. I'm gonna click right where I want it. I'm gonna to go to insert image, upload from computer. And I'm gonna go button home two, open. And then voila, there's my second video button. Then to link that button, I have another video on it, but basically I would go to like say videos, I can copy the link, whatever link I wanna use, click on the button, control K. That lets me paste a link. I paste my link, apply it. Now that links to my videos page. And that's how you're going to create buttons. So you're going to make a set of buttons for your page. A home button, a video button, a games button, and something, some other button. I, what was my, or my buttons? Video, games, music. Okay. So there you go. You know how to make the buttons. You know how to import the buttons. You know how to link the buttons. And I have a shorter video on linking the buttons if you just want to learn how to do that. All right. Hope that helps. Get to making a website.